towards the Mike's diggers. This way, Mr. Rhino! Okay, boss! Mr. Bull is the boss. Mr. Bull, where's all that water coming from? It's coming from a broken water pipe underground. How are you going to fix it? We dig up the road! <laughs> Wow! We turn the water off. <laughs> George loves cranes. Crane! Crane! We take the old pipe out <laughs> and put the new one in. <laughs> Thank you for showing us your work, Mr. Bull. Ooh, no problem. Bye! See you later! <laughs> oh dear, George doesn't want to leave Mr Bull. We're going to the playground, George. <laughs> you can play diggers and cranes in the sand pit. And we'll see Mr Bull again on our way home. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the playground. <laughs> Everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit are playing in the sandpit. <laughs> Let's play in the sandpit. OK. <laughs> Stop. What's the problem? We're digging up the road and I'm the boss. Oh. <laughs> Is it going to take long? It'll take as long as it will take. We have to make a hole. Vroom, vroom. We fill it in. Vroom. And the road is mended. Hooray! <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! You naughty piggy! <laughs> oh ho! Building things up, then knocking them down! It's all part of the fun at Digger World! <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. OK, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. <laughs> Dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again! Oh no! We got a Mr. Potato doll! Mm. The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges! You are fully qualified Digger Drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road! Digger! Digger! <laughs> Mr. Bull, can we drive your digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK, now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. 
Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. wave. What's that? Wave! Wave! wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Hooray! You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be... Hooray! <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kang. George, why are you dressed up in that space suit? You should be in your pyjamas. <laughs> George loves everything to do with space. Oh. <laughs> George, take your space helmet off to drink your milk. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime, little ones. <laughs> At night, George likes to listen to his space mobile. Not space again. <sighs> it's boring. Space isn't boring. It's full of stars. I can't see anything. It's too dark. It's easier to see the stars from outside. Can we go outside now? Pepper, you're in your pyjamas. Maybe if you put your coats on over your pyjamas, we could go outside just this once. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why are you lying on the ground? This is the best way to see the stars. <laughs> Look at these little stars. Imagine you are joining the dots. That's called the Big Dipper. Ooh. Yes, and the two stars at the end point to the North Star. Wow! North Star, North Star. Are you near or are you far? Can we get there in the car? <laughs> no, Pepper. The stars are much too far away. Are they even further than the seaside? Oh, yes. But they look a lot closer through a telescope. Have we got a telescope? <coughs> no, but Grandpa Pig has a very good telescope. Can we go to Grandpa Pig's house now? <laughs> it's much too late. Maybe we can go just this once, Daddy Pig. Dinosaurs! George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. It's too noisy. I say potato. And I say potato. Potato! Potato! The good thing about rainy days potato. is we get to watch important potato. TV programmes. Potato! potato. Potato! Potato! Mummy, George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land. And dinosaur land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Pepper. 
Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Susie. I'll be back to... Quick, Susie! ...pick you up <laughs> later. <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, Doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, Doctor. He must go into bed too. But it's too far for me to go, because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm! I'm a wiggly worm, I'm a wiggly worm, I'm made of clay, what shall I make today? I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> we wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands and I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely bright colours. <laughs> Tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know, George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes, let's fill it with water. 
<laughs> this is the best tea set in the world. Everybody knows that all the finest tea sets have a dinosaur in them. Teapot! <laughs> <laughs> Hold it tight. Don't let go. George has let go of the balloon. Ah! Maybe I'll hold this very valuable balloon for the journey home. George loves his dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived back at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Hold it tight this time, George. Don't let go. Why? Oh, George. <sniffs> In the world, there are two sorts of balloons. The up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. <sniffs> if you let it go, it will go up and up and up, all the way to the moon. Moon. <laughs> Oh! Ah, got you. <laughs> Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Ah, uh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. <laughs> it's going up the stairs. <laughs> it's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh! Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> This passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! <laughs> I'm just going to park it! Oh, uh, it's heading for our car! Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour! Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever! <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. We can use the buttons to record sounds. What kind of sounds? Anything you like. Say something, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> That's me! Now we can play the sound like a piano. 
<laughs> Can we do some recording? Of course. Say something, George. Dinosaur. George, this is you. Dinosaur. <laughs> 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 What a good idea. Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> Even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy, there's just one more. Come on, George, follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Peppa <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Roar! <gasps> George! Dino Roar, Dino Roar, Dino Roar has woken Dino me up! Dino Maybe Dino Roar should sleep Dino Roar somewhere else. To the Dino Roar. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Yeah. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh, what's this? A trumpet? <laughs> it doesn't work. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's not a trumpet, Pepper. You found Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Oh. Now, Daddy Pig can mend him. I'll try. Hmm. I think it might be quite difficult to mend. Oh! Daddy Pig has mended Mr. Dinosaur. Hooray! Oh, oh! I am a bit of an expert at mending things. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur! Dinosaur! Hello, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> 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 Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy in the whole world. Tigers like to lick themselves clean. But best of all, when tigers are happy, they purr. Hello, children. My goodness, you're all tigers. And I'm teaching them to be proper tigers. <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur! That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Could I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Peppa. Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got all those. <laughs> Most important of all, we need a dinosaur balloon for George. Oh, dear. I do not seem to have any dinosaur balloons. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I've got an idea. Could we have two of the long balloons, please? 
What's this, everybody? What is Daddy Pig doing with the balloons? There. Can anyone guess what it is? Is it a kangaroo? <laughs> no. It's a... Dinosaur. That's right. A dinosaur. Daddy Pig has made a balloon dinosaur. Grrr. Dinosaur. Now the Bouncy Castle! <laughs> Peppa loves bouncing on the Bouncy Castle. Everyone loves bouncing on the Bouncy Castle. This is the best school fate ever! <laughs> First, I put some flour in the bowl. Ooh! Now I add an egg. Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, George, like this. <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. Delicious! This pancake is for Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> mm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> this pancake is for Mummy Pig. Hooray! <laughs> you still aren't flipping them high enough, Mummy Pig. The next pancake is yours, Daddy Pig. So now you can show us how it should be done. Mm, delicious. Mm. <laughs> is everyone watching? The secret of making a good pancake is to flip it high into the air. <laughs> a one, two, three, whoopla! <gasps> <laughs> Silly Daddy. Oh, maybe that was just a bit too high. Hey, dinosaur! That's a lovely picture, Pepper. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George? What do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and. <laughs> Hello, 
<laughs> and now there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, Mr Dinosaur. It's not a real dinosaur. It's made of plastic. <laughs> Hold tight. You're doing very well, George. Now, can you show me your teeth? George does not want to show the dentist his teeth. George, open wide like this. Ah! <laughs> ah, there they are. All done. You have very strong, clean teeth, George. Are they as lovely as mine, Dr Elephant? Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> George is very proud to have clean teeth. George, don't forget the pink drink. <laughs> oh, but wait! What's this? What's wrong, Dr Elephant? George has clean teeth, but this young dinosaur's teeth are very dirty. Oh, no. Dr Elephant is very cross with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Not at all, Pepper. It's my job to make teeth clean. The water jet, please, Miss Rabbit. The dentist uses water to clean Mr Dinosaur's teeth. The polisher, please, Miss Rabbit. This will be a bit noisy. Dr Elephant polishes Mr Dinosaur's teeth. Pink, pink. That's right, George. Mr Dinosaur needs some special pink drink. Gosh, what shiny teeth you have, Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> Too scary. <laughs> George loves Mr. Dinosaur, especially now he has nice clean teeth. <laughs> George's favourite game is throwing Mr. Dinosaur up in the air Whee! and catching him when he falls back down. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. <laughs> I win, Daddy! <laughs> oh, well done, Pepper. George? George, what's the matter? I'm sore. George, have you lost Mr. Dinosaur? <laughs> George has lost Mr. Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. We'll find Mr. Dinosaur. It's a job for a detective. Daddy, what is a detective? A detective is a very important person who is good at finding things. Me, me! I'm good at finding things. All right. Peppa is the detective. George, I'm the detective. <laughs> I will help you find Mr. Dinosaur. Maybe the detective should ask George some simple questions. George, where's Mr Dinosaur? George does not know where Mr Dinosaur is. The detective could try and guess where Mr Dinosaur might be. I know. I know where he is. <laughs> George always has Mr Dinosaur with him in the bath. So Mr Dinosaur is in the bath. Mr Dinosaur is not in the bath. Oh. I know. I know where Mr Dinosaur is. <laughs> George always has Mr Dinosaur in his bed at night. <coughs> See, that's where he is. Mr Dinosaur is not in George's bed. Oh. <coughs> is that a dinosaur? <coughs> it's just a toy dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <coughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah! <laughs>
dinosaur. Grrr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. George is my brother. He's brilliant. Peppa is proud of her little brother, George. <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. First, you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. Now you paint the flower's petals. George, that's the wrong shape. Now you paint the stalk and the leaves. Perfect. George, you have done it all wrong. Now what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think George and Peppa's pictures should go on the wall. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. Is that a dinosaur? It's just a toy dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <coughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah! <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. George is my brother. He's brilliant. <coughs> Peppa is proud of her little brother, George. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. <laughs> First, you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. Now you paint the flower's petals. George, that's the wrong shape. Now you paint the stalk and the leaves. George, you have done it all wrong. Now, what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think George and Peppa's pictures should go on the wall. <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. OK, a scary dinosaur puppet. Chloe is making George a dinosaur puppet. It needs pointy teeth. There, a scary dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Time, everyone. Coming. After lunch, we'll do a puppet show. Hooray! <laughs> Auntie Pig has made spaghetti for lunch. <laughs> this spaghetti is delicious. <laughs> Best spaghetti ever. You can tell you two are brothers alike in every way. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we are completely different. <laughs> <laughs> 
Peppa, George and I are going to do a puppet show. Fantastic! Call us when you're ready. <laughs> See you later. A puppet show? That sounds fun. Have I got time for some more spaghetti? Could I have some more too? <laughs> <laughs> the puppet show is about to begin. Hello, my name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. <laughs> Ah! It's a dinosaur! A scary dinosaur! Eek! Oh, I say, that's very good. Bravo! I am Uncle Pig. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks just like you. I think they've made my tummy a bit big. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I did enjoy my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pig, are you going to fall asleep? And snore like you always do. What do you mean? Daddy says you always fall asleep and snore loudly, like this. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, your daddy's right. I do snore like this. <laughs> The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> like finding things that are lost. I know, we can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. <laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish. Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Peppa and George's bedroom. Oh, the crumbs have stopped. <coughs> How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's bed? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! The mystery is solved. <laughs> George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went cuckoo and you missed it. <laughs> Never mind, George. You can see cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. 
Come on, George. Let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play. Mr Dinosaur wants you to play too. <laughs> Dinosaur. George has missed Cuckoo again. <laughs> Never mind, George. Why don't you play in the garden? I'll call you when it's time to see Cuckoo. <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> it is nearly eleven o'clock. Peppa, George, <laughs> time to see Cuckoo. Quick, George, you can't miss Cuckoo again. George is running faster than he has ever run before. <laughs> George, did you see Cuckoo? Cuckoo! 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 Peppa and George love playing cuckoos. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! It is night time. Peppa and George are very sleepy. Cuckoo! Peppa and George are asleep. Uh, no. Time to sleep. Cuckoo is not very well. She just needs to sleep, like you and George. Good night. Good night, my little piggies. George, I know how to make Cuckoo better. We'll wind her up like Daddy did. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy are fast asleep. What? what? Mummy! Daddy! We've got something to show you. We've made Cuckoo better. A <laughs> 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 wizard is going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. That bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary chicken! <laughs> Pepper, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> Okay, there's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard, and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party! And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days... A long time ago. Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Pepper? George? Shush! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Pepper is the best at telling bedtime stories. A boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. Yeah. And he ate 
My lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. <laughs> it's Neville! <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four! Four eggs, Granny! Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Eggs. Yes, it's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> George and his friend Edmund Elephant <laughs> are playing with their space toys. <laughs> George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Pepper's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? It's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Pepper, and there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Shall we go and see it? Yay! Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Pepper, we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? <coughs> yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury! Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, please can we go out to play? You can go out to play when you finish your breakfast. <laughs> George, don't drink your juice too quickly. <laughs> George drank his juice too quickly, and now he has hiccups. <laughs> Can we go out to play now, Bobby? Not while George has hiccups. But George's hiccups have gone, Bobby, haven't they, George? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, all right, you can go out and play. But look after George. <laughs> Peppa and George love playing in the garden. George, I'm going to throw the ball and then you have to catch it. <laughs> George, please stop hiccuping. <gasps> George! Now you throw the ball to me and I have to catch it. <laughs> George! Oh dear. George's hiccups are spoiling the game. George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good. Now your hiccups have gone. <laughs> Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you have done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> <coughs> Turn her out quickly, three times. <laughs> Peppa's new cure hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups. <laughs> I know. To cure hiccups, the ill piggy must be given a shock. George, I'm going to scare you, but you must remember, it's only a game and it'll stop your hiccups. Remember, this is just pretend scaring. <coughs> Peppa, you mustn't play so roughly with George. He's only little. Hello, my little piggies. So tell me, what did you learn at playgroup today? Madam Gazelle asked us what we want to be when we grow up. That sounds nice. Not really, Mummy. Everybody knows what they want to be, but I don't. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur! George wants to be a dinosaur when he grows up. Brrr. You see? Don't worry, Pepper. You have plenty of time to decide what you want to be. OK. What do you do, Mummy? I work on my computer. Do you get to tell people what to do? No. Well, that's no good then. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. What do you do, Daddy? I could tell you, Pepper, but I think you'd find it a bit boring. I wouldn't, Daddy. <laughs> Tell me, please. OK. My job is to design and facilitate strategies of function by material means in concrete. Do you like your job, Daddy? I like it, but not everyone would. Everyone is different, Pepper. Hmm. What can I do, then? Think of something you like doing. I like jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Uh, there aren't that many jobs. I, I... want to be famous for jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> I want to be famous for having a big tummy, Pepper. But that's never going to happen. But I'm very good at puddle jumping. Yes, I suppose you are. When I grow up, I will show everyone in the world how to jump in muddy puddles. That sounds like a very good idea. Night night, Pepper. Night night, George. Night night. Pepper and George are falling asleep to dream about dinosaurs and puddle jumping. And who is Daddy's coat? <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig. <laughs> now it's my turn. This is Mummy's dress. <laughs> this is Mummy's hat. <laughs> Daddy Pig, where are your shoes? <laughs> I need 
some shoes too. <laughs> now I need to look beautiful, just like Mummy. Peppa has found Mummy's makeup box. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> For some powder. Lovely. Now for some lipstick. What a pretty mummy pig. <laughs> Come along, Daddy Pig. It's time to go to work. <laughs> mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> hello, Pepper. Hello, George. I beg your pardon. Pepper, I was just saying hello. I'm not Pepper Pig. Mummy Pig. Oh, yes, of course. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello. <coughs> and this is Daddy Pig. George. <coughs> and hello to you too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Hello. Yes. Do this, do that. No, thank you. Goodbye. <coughs> Pepper is enjoying pretending to be Mummy Pig. But George is getting a bit bored. Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm nearly finished. There. All done. Come on, Daddy Pig. It's time you did some work. Goodbye, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> George, let's play snowballs. Pepper has made a snowball. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are having a lot of fun. <laughs> George, come back, you little piggy. Oh dear, maybe this game is getting a little too rough. Sorry, George. <laughs> George, let's build a snowman. <laughs> Pepper and George are making a snowman. First they make the body. George, this is the snowman's body. Now they make the snowman's head. Now he needs arms and eyes and a mouth. George has found some sticks for the snowman's arms. Pepper has found some stones for the snowman's eyes and mouth. This is his face. Now the snowman needs a nose. Pepper has got a carrot to make the snowman's nose. The snowman looks very happy, but maybe he is a bit cold. The snowman needs some clothes to keep him warm. <laughs> George has found some clothes to keep the snowman nice and warm. The snowman is wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Mummy, Daddy, come and look. Mummy Pig is wearing her hat and scarf and gloves. That is the best snowman I have ever seen. <laughs> Daddy Pig looks quite cold. He isn't wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Achoo! George is washed in the bath. <laughs> 
George's clothes are washed in the washing machine. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. George's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your bottom, George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <coughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <coughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No, but I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. <coughs> Hmm, I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm, too much colour. What about this then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. <laughs> Very impressive. Oh, it stopped. The long grass is stopping it from walking. Perhaps you could cut it, Grandpa Pig. Yes, maybe later. Let's do it again. <coughs> oh, where's the key? It must have fallen out when Mr. Robot was walking. <coughs> Don't worry, George. I'm sure we can find it, can't we, Grandpa? Yes, I have the very thing for finding lost keys in long grass. Now, where is it? The lawnmower is right in front of you, Grandpa Pig. But I'm not looking for the lawnmower. I'm looking for this. My metal detector. Metal detectors are good at finding lost keys. Oh, it's not in the box. Is the metal detector lost as well? I'm afraid so. Oh dear. Sorry, George. The key is lost forever. <laughs> <laughs> Who can that be? Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Fox. What can I sell you this morning? I have a solar-powered torch, a wooden frying pan, an electric gnome. Nothing for us today, thank you, Mr Fox. Unless you've got a metal detector. Metal detector? Well, why didn't you say so? I've got a metal detector right here. Fantastic. It's just like my old one. It's got three settings, finding things, good at finding things, and really good at finding things. Excellent. We'll take it. Now we can find George's lost key. Hooray! How does the metal detector work, Grandpa? I'll show you. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But, Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Pepper. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Pepper. And that's how you find things with a metal detector. Can we have a go? <coughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here, there, here. We found something. No, oh, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> here, there. 
It's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? Lovely. Here is George. Stand back, George. I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <laughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. No, George. You can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell! Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. <coughs> and this is lavender. Smells like Granny Pig's perfume. Wow! That's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig, you smell nice. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny, smell this. <laughs> what is it? It's my perfume. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Kylie. <laughs> Hello, George. Remember my little brother, Joey? <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr. Grrr. Crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going for a picnic. Do you want to come along? Yes, yes please. <laughs> the kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow! You have a plane. Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh! Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day. Going to a picnic a long, long way away. Going to the outback on a sunny day. Flying to the outback a long, long way away. <laughs> <laughs> Is the outback? We're flying over it now. Oh, it looks like a desert. It kind of is. But the outback is also a special, magical place for us. Ooh. Here is our picnic spot. With our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for George to find. The duck is somewhere in your bedroom. George is looking for the rubber duck. <laughs> but it is quite difficult to find. Oh. George, you can see it. Just look with your eyes. George is using his eyes to look for the rubber duck. You're getting warmer, colder, 
Warm again. George has found the rubber duck. Hooray! I saw it straight away. This game is too easy. OK, Peppa's turn. I will do the hiding this time. Mummy Pig is going to put the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa to find. I will see it straight away. Ready! The rubber duck is somewhere in the kitchen. I've come to find you, rubber ducky. I know where you are. You're in the sink. Oh! The rubber duck is not in the sink. I know. You're hiding under the table. The rubber duck is not under the table. Give me a clue, please. It's sitting with something else that's yellow. Something yellow that lives in the kitchen. Bananas! There you are! Peppa has found the rubber duck. It was in the fruit bowl. Hooray! Well done! <laughs> I want to play the rainy day game again. OK. This time you can both look for the duck. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa and George to find. Ready! I'm in the sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> is it on the sofa? No. Is it on the television? No. It's not anywhere. Would you like a clue? It's sitting on something very big and very wise. And very handsome. Daddy! It's on your head. That's the best hiding place ever. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has left Mr Dinosaur behind. Oh, George, you should take more care of Mr Dinosaur. Are we all absolutely sure we haven't forgotten anything else? Yes, Daddy Pig! Teddy! I've left Teddy! Where did you leave Teddy? I think on the kitchen table. Pepper, you really must take more care of Teddy. Teddy! <laughs> Here we go again. All ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig! Here we go! This is the picnic area. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> ah, I love this picnic spot. It's so quiet and peaceful. It is Zoe Zebra with her daddy, Mr Zebra the Postman. Hello, Mr Zebra. <laughs> Have you got our post? Oh, no deliveries today. It's my day off. Nay! We're having a picnic lunch. So are we. I know. Why don't we make one big picnic? Yes! <laughs> what a splendid picnic. Please may George and I leave the table and play with Zoe. Yes, Peppa. <laughs> Zoe, I've got my teddy. I've got my monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Dinosaur. <laughs> I've got a toy picnic set. Let's play picnics. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. They always turn up when we have a picnic. We've got pretend orange juice and we've got pretend cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretend cake. It's very nice. <laughs> George wants to play Leapfrog. George likes playing Leapfrog. <laughs> leapfrog, everybody! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! <laughs> Playtime is over. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, we can all count to ten now. Very good. But we need to be playing to do it. Of course. Reach up. 
Edmund, bring the extra long skipping rope. <laughs> Hello. I've come to collect Pepper and George. Daddy, you're too early. Oh. Not to worry. You can join in our game. Oh, OK. Is everybody ready? Ready! Counting to ten. Oh, you look tired, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm fine. I could skip to a hundred. Good idea, Daddy Pig. To a hundred. Uh, maybe to twenty. Okay, to twenty. Eleven, twenty. <laughs> oh. The grass has not been cut for a while. It has grown very long. Come on, George. <laughs> George, where are you? I can't see you. <laughs> George, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Pepper and George cannot see each other. <laughs> Pepper and George love playing in the long grass. Daddy Pig is going to read his newspaper. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Oh, goodness me, Daddy Pig. We've let the garden get a bit out of control. What do you mean, Mummy Pig? The grass. It needs cutting. Oh, I quite like it. It's the wild garden look. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, come and play in the long grass. It's fun. <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm, maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, <laughs> certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. Mr. Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr. Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was for Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. What is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <coughs> Mr. Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr. Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow, he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr. Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. 
Good night. Night, night. <laughs> it is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, you work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr Skinnylegs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look! Mr Skinnylegs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy, you said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Pepper. Daddy Pig is riding Pepper's little bicycle. Have a nice ride to work. I will, Pepper. Bye. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry, George. A smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. <laughs> hmm. There's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot? Yes, a carrot. Hooray! Dinosaur juice for everyone. Mm. Are you all enjoying fruit day? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. <laughs> Everyone loves fruit <laughs> and carrots. <laughs> Pepper and George love their treehouse. Here are Pepper and George's friends, Zoe, Susie, Rebecca and Richard. I like your treehouse, Peppa. Can we come in? Yes. <laughs> now we can have a tea party. <laughs> Here are Pedro and Danny. Nay. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> can we come in? Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always spoil the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This treehouse is for girls only. <laughs> What's wrong? The girls won't let us into the treehouse. It isn't fair. Ho, ho. I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice, quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? There. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. <laughs> a castle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boys' den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles. 
castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow. They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho! Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <coughs> Granny Pig has found a flag for the girls' den. This dress will make a pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. Come in, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Pepper. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your Daddy. Hmm, that must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Pepper, he's very big. <gasps> These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <Grrr. laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. <laughs> the dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. Ooh. George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George wants the spider to be his friend. Oh. <laughs> George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Where are all the chocolate biscuits, Daddy? We had lots yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I must have eaten them all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Naughty, Daddy. George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. George, what are you doing? You have to help me with the tea party. Ah! Ah! Help! Help! Daddy! There's a spider in my bedroom. Oh, oh don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. But don't worry, Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Skinny Legs. Pepper feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, 
His name is Mr. Skinny Legs. Ah! Mr. Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? <laughs> Pepper and George like the spider. <laughs> night, night. George is putting the spider to bed. No, George. He wants some tea. He doesn't want to be in bed. <laughs> Are you hungry, Mr. Skinny Legs? Would you like some cake? Pepper isn't afraid of the spider anymore. Mummy, Daddy, sit down. We are all going to have tea with Mr. Skinny Legs. Who wants tea? Me, please. Me, please. <coughs> Delicious. Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Here's your tea, Mr. Skinny Legs. What's that? You want to say hello to my daddy? Hello, Mr. Daddy Pig. Hey, uh, that's all right, Pepper. <laughs> Let Mr. Skinny Legs drink his tea. You're not scared, are you, Daddy? Oh, no. Of course not. Well, <laughs> not so close. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> Can you remember, George? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? George, there aren't any dinosaurs in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. The next thing on the list is onions. Onions! I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three, four. <laughs> onions! Very good. That's nearly everything on our list. There's one last thing on the list. <coughs> A plant? Is that on the list? Oh, no, George. The last thing on the list is fruit. Oh. Never mind, George. You can choose the fruit. <laughs> Where is the fruit? Over there. <laughs> there are apples and oranges and bananas and a very big melon. What fruit shall we have, George? Apples? Oranges? Bananas? <laughs> a melon! <laughs> 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 this is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions, melon, chocolate cake, Chocolate cake? Chocolate cake? Is that on the list? Pepper, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No, Mummy. George, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No. Well, I didn't put it in. Then who did? Uh, I thought it might be nice for pudding. Daddy Pig. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. Sorry, it just looked so delicious. It does look rather yummy. Oh, let's pretend it was on the list. Chocolate cake! Hooray! I print the shapes out. Wow! <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> do you want to see my desk now? Yes, please. <laughs> This is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them, and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> 
My goodness, five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job, and I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> <laughs> We need some old newspaper to put on the table. Yes! <coughs> Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. You can have my newspaper when I've finished reading it. <laughs> All right. Hooray! <laughs> now we can start painting. Silly George. Big children do not put their hands in the paint. <laughs> George loves painting with his hands. <laughs> Peppa loves painting with her hands. <laughs> Very good. Can I have a potato, Mummy Pig? They aren't cooked yet, Daddy Pig. Are you hungry, Daddy? I'm not going to eat it. Watch this. What is Daddy Pig doing? Now, who can tell me what this is? A flower! <laughs> <laughs> Clever, Daddy! Oh, 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 I loved painting when I was a young piggy. Now, where are my old painting things? <laughs> Daddy, why are you wearing that funny hat? Oh, 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 this is my beret. It puts me in the mood for painting pictures. Now, what shall I paint? <laughs> well chosen, George. I'll paint the old cherry tree. What's that? It's an easel, Peppa. It holds my canvas. What's a canvas? It's a bit like paper for very special paintings. Is that toothpaste? Oh, oh no, Peppa. These are special paints for grown-up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. But first we need to paint the sky. Look, what colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh! What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh! Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. How may we help you today? Dinosaur! George has lost Mr Dinosaur! Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. Uh, actually, we were hoping some kind person might have found George's toy dinosaur and brought it here. I see. We'll need to question George. It's just routine. Please describe your dinosaur in your own words. Take your time. Use as many words as you like. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Excellent description. Hmm. We do have some lost dinosaurs in the back. Follow me. Wow! What a lot of stuff. Yes, it's amazing the things people lose. Umbrellas. Handbags. Pirate treasure! Wow. wow! Yes, pirates are always forgetting where they buried their treasure. People dig the treasure up, and when they can't find the pirate who legally owns it... They bring the treasure here. Funny thing is, not one single pirate has ever walked into our police station to claim their treasure. This cement mixer was found in a train. The passenger must have forgotten it. Ooh! And this banana was found in a shoe shop. 
How in the world it got there, we'll never know. <laughs> I'm sorry, young lad. What were we looking for again? Dinosaur. Oh, yes. Here we are, a box full of plastic dinosaurs. Is this your Stegosaurus? No. How about this Triceratops? No. This Brontosaurus? No. Hmm, I'm afraid that's all the toy dinosaurs we've got. Oh. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh. Who put that lamppost there? Uh, yes, lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Dinosaur Garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. Anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! <laughs> roll up, roll up for the vegetable roundabout swing thing. A vegetable roundabout swing thing. <laughs> I like Potato City because it teaches you about vegetables and swings you round and round. <laughs> Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. George, be careful not to knock anything over. Ah! <laughs> It's not funny. Pepper looks under the pillows, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks in Daddy's slippers, but the glasses are not there either. <coughs> <laughs> Let's look in the bathroom. <laughs> Pepper and George are looking in the bathroom. The glasses are not in the bath. Oh. The glasses are not in the toilet. Oh. <sighs> it's too difficult. Pepper and George cannot find Daddy Pig's glasses anywhere. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find Daddy's glasses. Oh, dear. Now what can we do? I suppose I'll just have to learn to do without them. If I move slowly, I won't bump into things. There they are! Daddy's glasses! Daddy Pig, you were sitting on them all the time. Oh. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I don't know how they got there. <laughs> I wonder how. <laughs> 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 well, you may have been a bit silly, Daddy Pig, but at least you're not grumpy anymore. I was not grumpy. Ha, 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 ha.
Maybe Pepper is teasing George just a bit too much. Pepper, have you been teasing George? Not really, Mummy. I was teaching him how to catch. Really? Oh, well, I know a game that will teach George how to catch. It's called Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> Pepper, you take the ball and stand over there, and George, you stand over there. Good. You have to throw the ball to each other, and I have to try and catch it. I'm the piggy in the middle. <laughs> Mummy is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> catch, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Pepper. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Peppa wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball. Peppa, now it's your turn to be piggy. George, catch. Hooray! Hooray! Got it! George, you're the piggy. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> catch the ball, George. <laughs> catch, George. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> Here's the ball, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, dear. Peppa, you shouldn't tease George like that. <laughs> Sorry, George. <laughs> Peppa isn't under the bed. What was that strange noise? Pepper isn't behind the curtain. There is that strange noise again. What can it be? <laughs> George has found where Pepper was hiding. George found me. Now it's Daddy's turn to hide. Oh, I think George should have another turn. But George isn't very good at hiding. I'm sure he'll be better this time. Close your eyes and start counting. One, two, oh, three, dear. Pepper will easily four, find George. Five, George, six, come over here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come! Oh, George isn't hiding under the table. But George always hides under the table. Have you thought of looking upstairs? I know where he is. George is in the toy basket. Oh. George is not in the toy basket. Where can he be? Pepper cannot find George anywhere. Daddy, I can't find George anywhere. Oh dear, I wonder where he can be. <laughs> Actually, I think there's something about George in this newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> George! Found you! I shall call it Twinkle Toes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Horsey, twinkle toes. Horsey, twinkle toes. Horsey. Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with Horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not Horsey. Now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, oh, oh. ho, I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go! Go! Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> horsey, horsey! George! She's called Twinkle Toes! Horsey! Twinkle Toes! Horsey! <sniffs> I know! Because the present is for both of us, we'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes! <laughs> Pepper and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes. Shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever. It must be a giant. <laughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look! Our shadows are getting longer. Ooh! That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Pepper. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> my turn! Pepper has made a spider. My name is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that, George? Dinosaur. Brr. George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> Time to switch the lights out. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Good night, shadows. Good night, Shadows. This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Just dance already. <laughs> this one is still blinking. You're out. 
Wow. You're moving, George. You're out. <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out. <laughs> so Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, Musical Statues is over. Lovely. Yay. Now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel. Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that is Zaza's medal. <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. <laughs> <laughs> 